I have a chicken coop. Hey, welcome to the farm, guys. Say, uh, I ran out of wood up by my wood stove, so I've been making trips to some of the wood I get from one of my jobs, and uh, I just uh, thought I'd share with y'all what I do to save money and uh, time with my wood burner. And I guess, you know, this is life on the farm, and I'm jumping snowmobiles and jumping cars and putting videos out like that, but nothing about, you know, the things that got to get done out here when I talk about my chores, so figured what I'd I'll show y'all what I what I got going on. I, I got a diesel truck that's usually my wood hauler, but the snow's pretty deep and the tires and that are bald, so I'm gonna use the good old trusty Nissan with that. And I get these eight foot bundles, dirt cheap if they're wet. Uh, dry, it's a little more. I think it's like 35 or 40 for a wet bundle, and then uh, for a dry one, it's like 60. Um, <clears throat> and they're uh, all cutoffs from an Amish sawmill, so. I got oak in there, I got ironwood in there, and I mean, I, I found a couple pieces of birch, but for the most part, it's all really nice hard wood. And they're actually a little over eight foot section. So what I, what I do, or what I'm gonna show you here, is I lob off one section here about, you know, three and a half to four feet long, and then I cut off sections this big to use for the inside stove, or, sorry, fireplace. And then that leaves me with another bundle of uh you know three and a half foot long ones so got my craftsman chainsaw still got the plastic on it we got coffee brews on myself runs pretty good hasn't been used too much yet you know i've only cut a couple cords of wood safety first I usually got a pallet that my wheels hit, but I think we finally got enough snow that the truck's just going right over the pallet. So she's squatting a little bit. Not bad though, when you think about how much weight's on it. Yeah, like I said, the snow built up, so it was going right over the pallet. I'm gonna be tossing the wood right onto this stack right here. I can hear it's actually calling for the wood right now, so.
That's why I back right up to the pallet. I used to stack my wood nicely. I'd spend hours doing that. And you know what? If if I got a nice sunny day and I'm gonna be doing four, five, six pallets, yeah, I got a whole day to do that. I'll stack the wood nicely down there and I'll move it around with my skid stick. But I've discovered now, like, this is gonna heat my house through the weekend, so I'll get through through work and everything, so I'll be able to next week bring up more. You know, it might last longer than that, and then I'm constantly bringing uh, scrap wood home from work to burn. So. But, yeah, I mean, in, in, in a week this pile will be gone, so why stack it neat? I'd rather spend time with family than spend time stacking wood, you know what I mean? warm tonight. There's Kiara and Sky. Probably wondering why Mama hasn't fed him. Mama being Kylie. Kylie calls me Grandpa. Kiara. Kiki. Ki. See, uh, Kiara is my favorite because she looks like a lion. Like, look at that name. Sky, I think is one of Kylie's favorite. She's a lovely cow. And then Gray, I think Kylie loves the most because he's the one that's bonded with Kylie. That's the little kitty inside. Had a feral cat around. And he was killing the male kitties. Because, you know, I got a couple of females. Yeah, this, this house is working out pretty good there. They're using it. You can see another kitty toy in there. So, all in all, so far so good. Put their little cat toy on a stump there. They like it. Starting to see the colors of a beautiful sunset in the distance. Let's see if the camera can pick it up. And we'll show you the tippy way Kylie talks about. She, she thinks this is too tippy. I don't think this is tippy at all. Y'all see that? Isn't that pretty? Oh, not the window wipers. That's what I get to live in every day. This is a beautiful place. Yeah, and then Kylie thinks this is too tippy too. I parked the truck over here. Again, it ain't tippy at all. Look at that. This is, well this is out of what I call the front porch. That's just beautiful. Especially in the fall when you get the leaves on the trees. I want to trim them up a bit so you can still see You know all that cockaburs and brush and stuff. I want to get that all cleared out and, but Gosh, that's 
it's just, would you look at that? Would you just look at that? Beautiful. I hope the camera picks up the contrast of the colors. And the house actually is up on a hill. Which I get beautiful views throughout it. And the nice thing about being out here is I don't worry about curtains. You notice half these windows don't have curtains on them. If somebody wants to see me naked, I mean, they probably got problems. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Oh, and that's this is what I was talking about with the little bits of pieces. I keep them up here for burning inside the inside fireplace. And this actually, I just use this kind of as a railing then. I've thought about stacking it higher, but since I'm not using the fireplace primarily that, that'll last a long time. That's just on the really cold nights when I need to take the chill out or uh, like if Kylie takes a bath sometimes, she asks me to put a fire on and she's been really good. I'll put it on and she'll, she'll put her PJs on and cuddle up and, and sleep in front of the, uh, front of the fireplace she asked she goes can we can we sleep in the living room daddy and you know so all right i'll, I'll lay down the recliner put a movie on and anyways so look who that is i think that means it's time to go inside bye have a wonderful day